Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here doing a random collective reading for you. This reading may not resonate with all of you but if something pulled you in from the title there's something in it for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest okay don't try to force it. And thank you so much everyone. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, for all of the, all of the positive feedback, the positive energy you guys give me, those comments, I love you guys so much. Um, thank you to all of my subscribers and everybody new here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Divine, what do you have for the collective? Messages for the collective. Oh, boy. Somebody feels duped. Somebody feels like a chump. I'm hearing like a chump, like a chump, like a chump. I, that's what I heard. Um, yeah, somebody feels like they got duped. Um, I, what I'm getting here is that somebody got in between the soulmate connection, okay? Um, with the lover's card, this person had a choice, and I feel like there was a snake in between you here, okay? Now, I feel like that snake kind of... Um, it, it, they're going to fall into this pit, okay? And I feel like that is, it, it, whoever got in between this connection, it's over. I feel like this person feels very betrayed by this snake because they lost out. This snake made them lose out on a Ten of Cups, which is ultimate wish fulfillment here. Um, and I feel like they're praying to have you back. Honestly, yeah, you're their star. You're their angel, temperance angel energy. They're realizing it. This is a sudden realization. Oh my gosh, I was duped. That's what this person is thinking. I, I was ripped off. I, I was uh, fooled out of my wish fulfillment, okay? I don't know what I don't know what this person did or who they chose over you, but they feel very um, duped. Judgment. They're under judgment now, or you could be making a judgment call. See, you're out here in this earth angel energy, right? Earth angel, very peaceful. Very calm, serene energy, very um, caring for other people, okay? You put so much love into everything that you do. It's this beautiful, beautiful healing energy. So, like, I'm getting that you're a, um, an empath, um, definitely somebody very spiritual, very intuitive. You're out here having a glow up. I, I feel it's just this earth angel energy, I mean, you are, you are everybody's wish fulfillment right now. You're everybody's wish, okay? Everybody who's seeing you, all these little stars here, that's all the people that are watching you and loving what you're doing, okay? I feel like, I feel like people are amazed by what you're accomplishing and by, by your knowledge and the stories that you have about your own life, the lessons that you've learned that you're using and putting out there to help other people. You know, this is a very caring energy, a very healing energy. Um, yeah, and you're everybody's wish. And I feel like the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor as well. So, you know, this person, they missed out on the kind of life that everybody dreams of having with an earth angel, okay? So that's like a one in a, a, a 144,000, okay? For real. The, the chances, you're, you're very rare. You are a rarity. And this person has lost you because of a foolish decision and wherever they chose to be instead of you they just got majorly betrayed so they were tricked and duped but in a, in a way I mean they made their decisions they just chose really poorly I feel like they um, they believed in someone else more than you and uh, the person that they chose Put them through a great deal of pain. You could be dealing with um, a Virgo energy. I've got Scorpio out here. 
Gemini, you could be a Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus. Um, yeah. I feel like this person is looking for you, like, kind of like everywhere. Hold on, something is going on with my camera. What was that all about? Yeah, I don't know what that was. It was flashing. Um, so I don't know what we're going to pick up on, but... Yeah, I, feel, I get the sense that maybe you could have moved away or maybe this person is just, they're looking for you. Okay, I feel like they're looking for you. Um, with the Hermit energy too, um, they're doing a lot of soul searching right now. They're thinking heavy about you and um, all that they lost. Okay, I, I, they're, I feel like they're out in the cold too, kind of alone, isolating themselves because they're under judgment, because they're thinking back. You know, judgment isn't always a bad thing, okay? Judgment is kind of a reflection time. You know, um, they're, they're being shown everything. Everything's coming into perfect clarity here for this person, okay? It, but hermit energy can last a while. They're going within. Um, and I feel like they, they have to isolate themselves in order for the divine to show them where they went wrong and all that they lost. They're learning a lesson here, and it's a deep one. It's, it's, the swords are deep. Yeah, the divine is telling them because of your in and out energy, because of your lies and betrayal, okay, because of the way you've used people in the past, this is what's happening to you. This is your karma. I'm seeing this this death card. It's 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 an ending, yes. But to me, it, I'm seeing this is karma right here. So this is this person learning a lesson, paying a karmic debt for their decisions, um, possibly things that they've done in a past life to you. This could be a twin flame soulmate connection. And I feel like this person was supposed to make some some wrongs right with you in this lifetime. Things that they have done in this connection in past lifetimes. Okay, they were supposed to make that right in this lifetime, and they didn't. And that's why karma is dancing on top of them, sticking their tongue out, see? Yeah, they need to pay their karmic debt for the things that they did. They weren't supposed to keep doing wrongful things they were supposed to make some things right in this lifetime, and they missed their shot. They screwed up royally, like big time. Um, a lot of heavy Scorpio energy here, uh, possibly Virgo. All right, what can you show me here? So this person could have had in and out energy with you. Um, this one wants to come out. I feel like they're wondering if you're giving to other people. Maybe they're wondering if you're um, if you'll even talk to them. Okay. I just wanted to see what that was because it wouldn't go. Yeah, and I, this person has not wanting to. They haven't been wanting to commit or commit. Yeah. They've been non-committal with you, but they haven't been wanting to confront. I'm sorry, that's what I wanted to say. They haven't been wanting to confront um, all the things that they did in the past, okay? Also, you know, I can see this as past lifetime stuff. They were supposed to make this right. They were supposed to do the right thing. Carry the swan to the end of the cycle, right? Um, they were supposed to communicate. You know, they were supposed to bring everything out in the open, clear this energy, clear their karma, and they didn't. All right, so yeah, this is too many cards, though. What else can you show me here for the collective? So this person is getting a whole lot of karma. I mean, look at, they're just burning in karma right now. Really, they're being shown, um the things that they've done wrong and how they got in the situation that they're in, right? They're getting a tower moment, right? This is also a sudden realization that they totally screwed up. Um, yeah. All right, so what else can you show me? 
for the collective. Yep, karma is coming to um, collect. Basically, karma is coming to collect on this person. You know, Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like you just don't feel the same way about this person anymore. I feel like you're celebrating a new beginning in your life. You've closed out this cycle and you're moving on to better things. You know, this person didn't give you anything except for pain. I feel like all the heartache and betrayal they gave you, they're getting in their, in their back now. Okay? Um, you're, you're definitely closing out of, of the past, releasing and celebrating here, celebrating a new beginning, right? Not you're. I feel like with the queen of cups in reverse, you know, a lot of people say a, a lot about this. You could be a water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What I'm actually feeling off of this energy is that you just don't feel the same way. You just don't feel the same way about this person that you used to. You've healed here. You're no longer offering that cup to this person. And that cup there um, has a tendency to be the most ornate cup in the deck. So that was like a blessing. Okay, you were a blessing for this person no matter how you look at it. And you can watch umpteen gazillion tarot card readings on YouTube. Um, we're all pretty much saying the same thing. You were the blessing here. And you, I feel like you know that. You know it, and so do they now. Bing! A light bulb goes on, right? A sudden realization, an enlightenment. But this person is stuck. They're stuck right now because the universe wants them to pay this karmic debt. They need to learn the lesson and they need to do the work. You know, and they need to, they, they, the universe needs payment. They're here to collect. Karma's here to collect on this person. Okay. I feel like they were very materialistic. Yeah, I saw the, see, this is what I saw. They are very materialistic in the past, maybe focused on money, that kind of thing. But now they're realizing too, with the Ten of Pentacles out here, they could have had ultimate. They could have had it all with you, you know, if they only had had any kind of faith in it or uh, in your love or believed in you at all. They could have had it all. Maybe at the time when you were with this person, all you had to offer them was a cup of love. But now I feel like you're celebrating all of this abundance around you here. Look at all that green. You're celebrating all of this abundance. Look at you're about to get uh, like big time wealth here. This could be a major, huge lump sum of money. Ten of Pentacles, it could lead to the Ten of Pentacles. This person sees you now. I feel like they may want to commit now. They may want to commit now because you're your ultimate wish fulfillment. I, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles out here and the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, I could easily tell you, um, for some of you, this person may even want to propose. But I feel like right now they feel stuck where they are because they're getting their karma. And they're also, you know... Um, some of them are, like I said, isolating themselves, right, to go within because the divine is show, they're showing them a review. They're showing them a review. This person could even be getting visions and dreams about things that they've done in a past life to you that they needed to correct in this lifetime. I can't stress that enough. So, yeah, the karma has come to collect on this person. And right now, they're, they're kind of going through it, collective. You're not. I see you out here celebrating a new beginning for yourself and closing the cycle out. And, um, yeah, you're just, you're done. You're done. 
All right, so what else can you show me here? Clarify this King of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this person thought that they were better than you. They were materialistic, and they saw you as being somebody who was always going to be in peasant clothing, right? Working really hard to try to get ahead. Maybe even you had you could have had a creative um, idea that you had planted seeds and, and you were nurturing it. They could have, like, turned their nose up at it. This person, I, I really get the sense that they saw you as not being enough. Not having enough to bring to the table. Maybe being in a financial struggle. We've all been there. Okay? But this person here, I feel like they were kind of smug. And they didn't think that, you know, they chose someone else over you. Because maybe it was a, the job that you did or the creative uh, project that you had started or the fact that you were just a really hard worker, not afraid to get your hands dirty here. Um, really, really struggling here to try to um, bring in some financial stability for yourself, okay? And I, I feel like this person just turn their nose up at you you know they were materialistic they were superficial and I feel like they didn't realize at the time that you were an earth angel us you were gonna be a star okay um yeah I feel like they may even be kind of talking to other people about you right now you know, they could be trying to find you. I, I feel like this person has been looking for you, for some of you. They could have talked to somebody else about you. Because I'm seeing this King of Swords energy as being kind of angry. What is this all about? They're, they're talking to other people about you. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. And they're getting some kind of clarity here that's making them very upset. Maybe they're hearing about your glow up or your abundance. Somebody's giving them information that's making this person instantly upset and angry. Okay? That you're growing a money tree. Somebody could be saying that you're growing a money tree. That creative project that they once turned their nose up at and maybe thought that it was never going, that it was not going to go anywhere. Well, look at where it's going. You are growing a money tree here. And you are one, right now, you're one pentacle away from being an empress in the minor arcana. I mean, whatever it is that you started, that you nurtured, planted seeds, right, to grow. And nurtured and watched over and worked on really hard. This person may have thought that it was not going to amount to anything. Okay, but I feel like it's really taking off here. You're about to reap all of the rewards of all of your hard work. Okay. Yeah, man. They highly underestimated you. Seven of Pentacles, that's the most underestimated person in the deck. And this is somebody who is made to wait right? I feel like you were very patient, but you know what? Um, I feel like you're done waiting. You're just done with that stagnancy. I feel like this person kept you waiting too. Yeah. They really didn't, you know, they didn't see your worth. They underestimated you. Uh, I feel like they ghosted you. I feel like they made you wait for answers. They lied. They betrayed. They had in and out energy. You know, now they're, f and, and they turn their nose up at you, right? And now they're angry with what they're hearing from other people. That I feel like you have a new beginning and you're, you're leaving. Some of you could be moving, changing locations here. This isn't how I typically read the Knight of Pentacles, okay? The Knight of Pentacles usually is somebody who takes a really long time to come in with an offer. I feel like that is part of this. This you, you waited way too long for this person. 
But here's the thing. I feel like this the Ace of Pentacles here is the one in your hand. And I feel like this could be you taking a new direction, a new path elsewhere. That's why this person may be trying to find out where you live, where you went. They're looking for you. They're asking other people about you. They may be getting really angry because these people are, are kind of telling all. They may be telling them that you um, have new love here even. I feel like this King of Swords energy is angry. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've got Pisces out here. Heavy Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo. I feel like they think you may have somebody new. And that's what they're hearing from other people, maybe. Because they are collaborating with some others here, I feel, to try to get some information on you. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're walking away from this person. You're walking away. The, all they gave you was empty cups. That's it. And lies. That's all they gave you. So, yeah, they're getting angry here. Because they don't, I feel like they don't want to see you with anybody else. And you know your wish fulfillment. This is your energy, man. You're like, I. you're not budging. I feel like you're moving on, you're moving forward, knowing that your wish fulfillment, knowing that you're going to get your wish fulfillment, and you're leaving this energy behind, this stagnant energy. I feel like this person procrastinated too on coming forward. Now we've got every king out here in the deck. Um, you could have somebody else already interested in you. Okay, yeah, this person, they don't want to let go. Yeah, you're, yeah, somebody new is coming in here who's going to make you this love offer. Um, yeah, and they're going to be heartbroken. I'm telling you, because this was a third-party situation they chose poorly, they screwed up, they got betrayed. And they missed out on literally everything. A ten of pentacles with you, which is generational wealth, whatever it is that you're growing, it's about to take off. You're about to reap the rewards of all of your hard work. And that's gonna put it's gonna put you in the Empress in the minor arcana energy. You know what that means? That means Complete independence, not needing anybody in that energy. Single, beautiful, independent, successful. Um, having all of the pentacles except for a commitment. I, I feel like, you know, um, yeah, you're going to be extremely abundant, possibly even wealthy because of the idea and the hard work that you put in. And this person over here, they're angry by what they're hearing. They're heartbroken because you may be meeting somebody new. That's inevitable. It's inevitable in the energy that you're in. Okay? And they're, um, they know they screwed up. I don't know what else to say. They know they screwed up. Um, let's see what they want to say. Okay? All right. What does this person want to say to the collective? Right now, they're currently asking other people about you trying to find you, okay? I need you in my life. I'm slowly making my way back to you. I feel like this person may come in a bit too late. You're, I feel like you guys are just done already. You know, you're going after your own happiness here and people who um, deserve to have you. I'm reminded of you every time I walk in this building. When I said I didn't love you, that was a lie. I won't listen to you because you might change my mind. Yeah, I feel like that, that might be your energy, actually. It took me a long time, but I'm starting to not care what others think anymore. Yeah, because everything is like exploding in this person's life, okay? Not in a good way. 
They're getting tower moments. Their whole foundation is coming down. Um, so many times I had the phone in my hand ready to reach out. You have greatly impacted my life. Yeah, you taught this person a lesson. I'll tell you what. Don't, don't, the lesson is don't underestimate the collective. That was their lesson. Don't underestimate the collective. That was literally their worst mistake they could have ever made. I'm looking for a sign from you that you still care. Yeah, this person, they don't, they don't hear from you. They don't see you. You like, you like disappeared or something. I, the only thing that they can see is what you're posting online. What you're putting out there, I feel, for all to see. But other than that, I mean, they never see you around. You could have moved. They don't know where you are. Um, you're not talking to them. Like they're getting, your silence speaks volumes. And the fact that you, um, uh, that they can't find you, it's literally kind of driving them crazy. Like I said, I feel like they're asking friends or people who know you where you are, what you're doing. They're asking for any kind of information that they can get because they're you're not giving them any sign. They're just looking for you, okay? Anyway, collective listen, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.